Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, happy Hacktoberfest. I'm Steve, and I'm going to tell you a story about uh, how we did the DevOps to help improve IT performance at our legacy organization. So many years ago, um, I was working, doing some cool DevOps stuff at a small company, but I decided, you know, it's time to move on, time to find a new job. Um, and one opening in particular caught my eye uh, because I saw an opportunity. I saw an organization struggling to keep up with user expectations, and I saw that I could help use DevOps to make everything better. So, you know, I get all amped up once I decide to go there. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go in there with guns blazing, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a reason things are the way they are, and it's probably not by accident. Most enterprise organizations value stability over innovation. Um, obviously, we are starting to learn that you can have both, right? And that DevOps, uh, a culture of automation, measurement, and sharing, is the way to do that. Now, we love to talk about DevOps, right? That's why we're here. Um, but sometimes, you know, talk is not enough. Sometimes you just need to do the DevOps. Exhibit the culture that you want to see automate all the things, you know, measure the gains that you're making, and share those results. Be the CAMS model. This is the first sentence of the, the manifesto for agile software development. We are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it. They're talking about experimentation. Here's one experiment that we did. I found uh, an old Intel Power Mac uh, sitting on the floor in a spare office. I stole it and uh, turned it into our first CI server. As we were able to show value to management, we were able to get a real server for it. Most enterprises have terrible work tracking systems. This was ours. Um, and it was just such a pain to fill out the form to get something pushed to development. You know, the whole ordeal all in itself. So what did we do? Chat ops. Um, we, through automation and experimentation, were able to, uh, you know, reduce the amount of time that it took to deploy because we had automated things like uh, audit tracking and things like that. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox, you may be saying you can't just, you know, deploy updates to enterprise systems willy-nilly over Slack, and you're probably right, um, but we didn't do that. We started rebuilding our apps with Angular and Bootstrap and REST APIs, and most importantly, with minimal hooks into the enterprise systems. And by decoupling our apps from the underlying database, we reduced risk, um, we minimized complexity, we made everything better. One app was literally impossible to upgrade because there were so many uh, customizations built into the underlying framework. So what we did, we took all that out, we put it into configurable modules that could be then plugged into the platform, and upgrades became a breeze. Sometimes uh, small changes can have a big impact. The self-service system, where students uh, registered for classes, checked their grades, even signed up for housing, uh, was a specific source of pain. So much so, that one student uh, created a Chrome extension to make it better. Um, I, I thought this was great, um, but unfortunately, a Chrome extension does not scale to 10,000 users uh, on a dozen different browsers. So what we did, we uh, spent two days uh, restyling the app with a mobile-first responsive design. This all compiled into a single CSS file that lived on a separate server, so the enterprise system did not need to get touched at all. Low risk, high value. And by doing all these things, you know, decoupling our apps, experimenting, um, working with ops more closely, we achieved crazy fast lead times compared to, to the traditional over-the-wall approach. And obviously, in doing so, we could then deploy multiple times a day instead of just once or twice a week. So if you're struggling with this sort of thing at your organization, I would encourage you to just do the DevOps, right? Lead by example. Be the CAMS model. Experiment, even if that means, you know, stealing a computer. Um, and decouple, right? Get away from your stuff. So uh, this was the Cliff Notes version of a talk I gave at DevOps Days Portland this summer. If you have half an hour and you want to check it out, I would uh, encourage that. I can give you the link afterwards if you're not fast enough to take photos. Um, yeah, this is me. I help teams build better software. Um, as you can see, I love to talk about this sort of thing. So feel free to catch me either online or outside. Thank you. <laughs>